Here in Baldwin County, these guys are hard at work hand planting pine trees, a crucial step in Georgia's reforestation process. However, that process isn't an easy one. In fact, it's a multi-step process that foresters across the state follow closely, starting with clearing out the competition, giving the seedlings the best chance to survive. So after a clear cut, you've got all this, you know, you know, influx of sunlight that's going to get a lot of things growing that weren't growing when it was a forested stand. So you've got to you got to get rid of all that competing vegetation, or it's going to outcompete your pine trees, and you're going to have poor survival. Um, so they do a broadcast chemical treatment um, that kills all that vegetation, um, and then so you let that chemical, you know, work for you know about two months, um, and then you're ready to do um, actually put the trees in the ground during the winter time. So the time frame on those steps are the chemical site prep treatment is in the summer. You're going to do your burning in the fall, roughly two months after the chemical treatment, and then you're going to plant the trees. According to McMullen, once the site is ready, the winter is the most ideal time of year for planting, as the moist soil allows the seedlings to take root. Generally, you know, it's, it's wet in the winter, it's cool, you're going to get the trees in the ground while there's plenty of moisture and they have time to start spreading the roots and getting established before it turns dry in the spring and summer. Um, we are planting containerized seedlings here, so they're going to be more drought resistant versus bare root seedlings. Um, but yeah, it just helps them get established before it gets hot and dry in the summer. From there, McMullen says management is the key to success, as the ultimate goal is ensuring the trees are able to thrive. Our next potential step would be in the spring, this coming spring, doing a herbaceous weed control treatment. And that's a follow-up chemical treatment to knock back any weeds or competing vegetation that may try to come up this spring. Um, after that, with loblolly pine, you really just let them grow for about 15 years and then you're going to be looking at doing your first commercial thinning operation. According to McMullen, however, while the timing and technique are important parts of the process, it's the big picture that matters most to Georgia's forestry industry and is one that's typically misunderstood. I have people ask me about, are we running out of trees? Why are you cutting down the trees? You know. The trees are, you know, they're a crop. They're planted for the purpose of harvesting. Um, so the, you know, the bigger issue is if you were to, you know, clear cut something and not plant it back. You know, here, replanting trees, you know, that's being a good steward of the land, um, getting the land back in a productive state, and, and helping, you know, our thriving timber economy continue to thrive. Reporting in Milledgeville for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.